Souffle is normally considered one of the most difficult desserts to make, uh, but all it really is, is getting the steps right. We're gonna start off, literally, with the molds. So you're gonna get yourself your ramekins, and you get yourself a little pastry brush, and you've got some softened butter here. And we literally just wanna grease these first. So soften butter, grease all around, and then when you're around the sides like this, we, we brush upwards. So by, by brushing upwards, this aids it in rising. Then once you have it greased, we go straight into some caster sugar. So you just wanna line it all around with caster sugar, like that. So tap any of the excess out, and it's just the same with the other one. Into the sugar. So once you have those lined, uh, this is a really good cheat for you. It's store-bought custard. So take it straight from the fridge. Now, uh, this on its own is quite nice, instead of using the creme patissier, but we wanna show you that the cheat that you can add more flavor to it. Just one passion fruit. Cut this straight down. And we want the seeds and everything in this custard because it gives a beautiful texture and flavor to the souffle. So straight into the custard, scrape them all in. Mix that around and then that's the custard part ready to go. So we got four egg whites in a bowl here. Uh, we're gonna turn on and use our handheld uh, blender. Okay, just switch it on first. <laughs> here we go. Okay, so straight into the bowl. So once you have that done, all right, uh, we just wanna check, see if that holds over your head uh, without it dropping anywhere. Then you know you're ready to add your caster sugar to it. And just add in small amounts at a time. Okay, and then when you have lovely glossy soft peaks like that, you know you're ready then to go. And then the folding happens. So you have your spatula, okay? Uh, what we do is you take a small amount of mixture and add it to the custard first, just to lighten the custard mix, really. And then you come along, and then you can fold the rest in. And then tip is to fold, not to kind of mix. So really, really lightly fold it around with the spatula. You're kind of making a circular motion. Try not to knock out as much air as possible. So now you've that done, all you need to do now is fill your moulds up. In you go. So kind of overfill the mould like this and then get yourself a little spatula. And this is a trick actually that a friend chef taught me. So you scrape off one quarter, then you do the second quarter like this and then you come along and you do the final piece. All you need to do then is clean it with your tea towel all around. Now, the trick is get your thumb and you run your thumb all around like that. Okay, so that's one done. Just do the same then with the second one. And straight into the tray. Okay, so once you have them filled, they go straight into the oven at 190 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes. Have a look at them, see if they lift nicely, but make sure you do not open that oven. Be really, really careful when you take these out of the oven. They are so wobbly and delicate. See with a little bit of ice and sugar on top? Make it snow, basically. Okay, so just lift it out. Just be really, really careful when you're lifting it. Straight onto your plate. And then what I recommend doing is getting a scoop of vanilla ice cream like this. So there's your little bit of ice cream on top. All you gotta do now Get your spoon in there and dig in. Mm. It's so light. The passion fruit really, really comes through. It's so sweet and delicious. So that's my restaurant standard souffle for you that you can make in your own home yourself. Really simple, just with a few little steps. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it, and comment below with your recipe suggestions. I'd love to hear them, and we'll see you all again really soon.